Like I was not it's ready. After hours. After hours. Welcome to After Hours with Tattoo Home Records. <laughs> what, what happened to your voice? I don't the know. End? Home Records. Home Records. Um, my hair looks crazy. Leave me alone. I'm posting on Instagram for you guys so that way you have um, a uh, idea of when today's episode is going to What the fuck out. is happening to this can? Why is it, like, it's getting, there's, like, bubbles coming out the top. Uh, you need to, because it got shaken probably when you ran up the stairs like a psychopath. I did not get shaken. Um, <laughs> shaken, not stood. <laughs> okay, so, this is a fucking hot topic, so we need yes. feedback. Um, hopefully she'll do this thing on the, like, the socials or whatever. I will. Sleeping. Clothes on, clothes off. Go. What did you say to me earlier? I sleep with all of my clothes on. And all of them? Like a belt? Fuck your belt. No, it's like comfy clothes. It's okay. At minimum shirt, underwear, and some sort of pant over that. Pant? Not like pant, but like a short. A short. But athletic shorts. No, that also count as my underwear. So at at minimum, but I saved this for the podcast because Mm. I didn't want to tell you this in person. I wanted your reaction. I used to sleep with a bra on every single night until the end of high school. Why? Did somebody tell you because your boobs wouldn't sag? Because I did that. No, because it felt more comforting. Do you sleep with all um, your clothes on, Caboose? I sleep with a bra on, yeah. He does not. You sleep with a bra on? <laughs> um, how have you not noticed? Wait. <laughs> Caboose, how do you sleep? Boxers. Boxers. Okay, so Caboose okay. wears just underwear. That would be great if he was like lace panties. Um, not completely. Wait, what did I, I say? Sleep- did I say naked? <laughs> yeah, naked. I sleep naked. <laughs> um... No, I don't sleep completely naked. Oh, okay. Because I live with other human beings. Yeah. Um, and because of an emergency, I just need my bits covered. But my bits are only, like, my junk. My lady junk. Right. Um, I know, we've been counting... Okay, this is going to sound really weird. My boobs aren't bits. <laughs> this is going to sound really weird. We've been, like, kind of placing bets in our friendship when we're oh, uh, yeah. going to accidentally see each other's tits. Yeah. And it still hasn't happened. Nope. And we're, we're five, five years, years in. in we're so. five years in, and it still has not happened. But, like, I know on accident it'll happen one day. Yeah, we're waiting for it to happen organically. It is really <laughs> difficult, though, for me to not be like, dude, we're going to go somewhere, like, magical, <laughs> and I'm just going to flash her. Like, You're we're so at the police dumb. club some more, and I'm like, oh, my God, Callie, look. And then I just <gasps> flash her. Um, there's a video of me flashing Caboose at the cliff some more. If you flash me, I will. I think I might actually break as a human being. I would think it was so funny. I might like shit my pants from laughter. Like just the thought of it is making me laugh really hard. Yeah, that's how I feel about mooning as well. I think that mooning and flashing are the silliest things. Um, obviously, like don't just do it to people that you don't know. But I think it's the funniest thing. Have you ever mooned someone? Oh my god, yeah, I've absolutely I mooned not. people. Because you don't have older brothers. You needed older brothers. To moon? Yes. Dude, Caboose can tell you stories about when they're in the Navy. Fuck, okay, um, but the Navy's like a different breed of human yeah, being. Yeah, but like when we were kids, we used to moon people. Because then when Merrick... Uh, well, I shouldn't say his name. Well, anywho. Um, <laughs> when <Blair. laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll leave that. But he used to moon our friends all the time. It was the funniest shit ever. God damn um, it. That's so but funny. yeah, so out there somewhere. I know it's in the ether because, like, <gasps> anytime you send anything, the internet has it forever. There is a video <laughs> of me. I think I said I love you first, and then I flashed him because I was at the cliff some more with some buddies of mine, but they were hiking down, and there was, like, there's no one around. All right, this will be hilarious, and I just did it in a video. The cliffs of more. And I didn't even tell him. Yeah, because that's it's the so most stunning. beautiful place in the world, and it was sunsetty, gorgeous, and I was like, stunning. what would you expect if somebody that you, you're married to, and you're married to me, and I'm, like, out exploring the world with my friends... You would be like, oh, she's going to send me this beautiful message, and then it's just me flashing you my tits. I mean, honestly, that's hilarious and very on brand. It's the most beautiful message you could get. It's super on brand because it is the most beautiful place on earth, you (laughs) fucking psychopath. (laughs) (laughs) You fucking psychopath. That's so funny. Yeah, I can't. How do you sleep in a shirt? It's like fucking, I just sleep in a shirt when we travel together, and it's so annoying. And then sometimes when I sleep on the couch, I specifically will get, I'll get too hot on the couch and take my top off, Mm -hmm. and then I have to have it, like, right next to me, so that way if you come downstairs i'm like 
I can put my I can put my shirt on all you, in the time it takes for you to get halfway down the stairs. All you need you already know that? Yeah, I can hear it. All you need to do is like put your shirt over your boobs and be like, Oh, my shirt's not on, but I'm just covering it. Like I'm not gonna care. I know, but it's principle. You just think it's funnier that way? Okay, whatever. Yeah. I mean that's fair. That's fair. I'm, okay, so do you I, sleep with clothes? Tell us. Markers. Clothes. Just undies, because I feel like that's an, an actual genuine category. Separate, yeah, category, for sure. Or in a three-piece suit like this one. I'm not wearing a three-piece suit. She also, is. what the fuck? People who sleep naked, like, why? It's more comfortable. And your no, bits breathe. No, it is not. It's so scary. Wait, oh, we got distracted. Why, do you, why did you wear a bra? Because it made me feel secure. It's almost like, you know when those, um... <laughs> When those harnesses for dogs who have anxiety came out, I was like, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, the me. thunder jacket? Yeah. <laughs> that's how I feel. That was me. Yeah. I was like, shit. So I just, like, constantly wore a bra because I felt better with it on. I was like, oh, I might as well. You should unpack that in therapy. Well, okay, here's the thing. <laughs> now, now I sleep braless. You guys should be, well, sometimes, actually. If, if I'm, this is going to sound so weird to people who aren't neurodivergent. And if you're not neurodivergent and you're listening to this, um, maybe get diagnosed because <laughs> there's a reason you find it entertaining. Or you're a really good ally, or you're, or you're amazing, yeah. and you just happen to be one of those people who just li- likes to watch this chaotic conversation unfold. But Wait, like, get back to your titties. Yeah. Um, uh, the spoons. Uh, if I don't have enough spoons to take off my bra, I'm just not gonna take it off, and then I'll just sleep with it on. I feel like this is a luxury of having a smaller chest. Oh, yeah. Because, like... Yeah, 100%. I absolutely want the support. Like, it's one of the things... I'm sure I've said this on here before, or I haven't, and you guys are getting to know this for the first time. But if I've had a really, really bad day and I'm, like, super stressed out, Caboose will come up and hold my boobs and literally just hold them... Oh, take the weight off of them, right? take the weight off of them. Uh And it feels so amazing because they're always weight. Oh, my gosh. Um, Because... What? Have you seen that trend where men take their pregnant, like, ladies and they just, like, hold the weight off? Oh, yeah. Bit? Oh, that must be yeah. the same thing for your child. Yes. Crazy. So, like, the first thing I want to do when I get home is to take off my bra. Really? So, if I sleep in my bra, then you know that, like, I'm genuinely not Burnt okay. out. Yeah, yeah, you're fucked I'm up. I'm at that level. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm like, no, dude, I spend all day with this, like, being strapped in. Mm-hmm. Um, especially just because, you know, I'm not like, here, let all my... Like, no. Can this episode be titled After Hours Boobs? Just After Hours Boobs. <laughs> That's it. Just titties so as, and boobs. as someone who is president of the Itty Bitty Titty Club... I'm going to brag for a second. Um, I can work out in a bralette, and I love it. And um, every single woman who's seen me work out with a bralette, it's always like, you fucking bitch. I'm like, I know. Sorry. I These sports bras, because I've, like, put a little bit more weight back on, um, mm-hmm. and my boobs are, like, one of the first places that, like, get that. Lucky you. So, <laughs> yes, and no, because it means I have, like, a whole slew of fucking yeah. bras that mm-hmm. now are... They look really cute, but they don't offer any support. Oh. So then when I'm, like, running or working out, like, I was doing a little workout with Caboose, and I have to, like, create, like, I have to interlock my fingers to create a corset. Wow. Um, so that way I can move around. Otherwise, my boobs, Toe like... taps. You have to, like, cross Oh, my God, shit. Yeah. yeah. It's so hard. So we were just doing, like, you know, running around the garage, and I just had it like this, and he was laughing because he was like, it looks like you're wearing a corset. And I'm like, yeah, because I have to hold them in. He has a slow-mo video of me. From the fucking competition, and I didn't post it purely because I was like, anybody else who has, like, C or larger titties are gonna fucking see this video and be like, ow, that bra is doing nothing for you, bitch. But you could post it to your OnlyFans. No, right? there's a bunch of people in the background, so I can't post it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. They have, like, rules about that. Also, no, it's, like, I looked at it and was like, that's painful to you watch. You know what? I've been thinking about, like, how funny it would be if I did an OnlyFans, like, a huge launch, and it's just me eating food. Do you know how many fucking people would be you just walk it. around with your fucking face? And I'm like, yeah, we're just eating dinner together, and then I'm just literally eating food, yeah. like, not, just yeah. full face of makeup on, for sure, but, like, nothing's no. happening, I'm just eating food. Yeah, so many people. I think about it a lot. I it would mean, be profitable. It would be profitable. Don't get me wrong, there's part of me that hates you, because I have to show my fucking titties. Mm-hmm. And you would just have to show your face. But, but I, my titties are the equivalent to your face, so it makes sense. I, um, so I was... <laughs> 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 you almost made me 
bit. <laughs> my drink can't be really... So, I, I don't know if I'm going to regret saying this on the podcast. If I do, whatever. Who gives a fuck? That's I was talking I to my client today uh-huh. about how men treat you differently depending on, like, what you look like, obviously. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> if you heard listening to that sentence and going, oh, no way, wake up. Wake the fuck up. But anyways, I was talking about your boobs. <laughs> because when you have your tits out, guys talk to you like this, they're like looking at the ceiling. And I was telling my client how ridiculous it is because if, the, if that's the first pair of tits you've ever seen, I'm concerned for you. What the fuck? Why are they talking to the ceiling? Like it's so weird um you know it's actually really fun because um yeah everyone will do it and it's great because like caboose will still be able he'll like look at me but it's really cute because then i'll see him like flick down um because like what i like to believe is my best kept secret secret is that i have big boobs and i just like bind them down but i think so much like more okay the way it can I say this on the podcast? I'm so sorry if this is offensive yeah. to you. I told my client today that you have a great rack. Because <laughs> like, she's got, like, really... She's got a great rack. So, like, it's, like, different. <laughs> That's yeah. only... But no, I don't you're casually, you're casually saying, yeah, like, my secret is that I have great... No, it's a great rack. Like, say it how it but is. But I, like, it. wear sports bras all the time so it, like, compresses them. Right. And then when I do on the occasion wear an actual bra, it's Dude. super funny. Because we... Caboose will just have, like, conversations and he'll be, like, not able to, like, look at my when face. When we did that photo shoot for yeah. Tattoo Homework is the first one we ever did, I was like... I'm so sorry. Holy fuck, dude. (laughs) God, what the fuck? They're, like, out there, you know? Yeah. So it's funny to me because if I'm just, like, whatever, I just just want them to breathe. Right. Then I'll, like, wear stuff where they're, like, supported but also my chest can breathe. Mm -hmm. Um, Because for the most part, I try to, like, keep it fairly covered. Mm -hmm. Um, But then, yeah, it is really funny because I notice how different every fucking person is it's also my Acting favorite way you. of telling like whether or not someone's like queer is because like somebody who is presenting as like female will come in and be like mm. and then they'll just be at really awkward i'm like yes mm-hmm. i know i know you're distracted it's I'm fine sorry like <laughs> not even okay. no, you shouldn't apologize for it yeah actually. i'm not really i genuinely think it's funny it's the mm-hmm. same way that like people i watch people react like i said your face mm-hmm. i get people react to your face that way so it's so funny because then they'll like see you and then start stumbling and i'm like this is so much fun and then for me it's great because i watch them stumble but because they're looking at my tits or they're looking elsewhere very seldom do they look at my face if my tits are out yeah how's your day so going I, today yeah, i get to watch them look around me and it's the funniest shit in the world so because i don't feel that way and i think it's because like i grew up you know my mom had and my mom had like big boobs as well right so i grew up just being like yeah titties are just meant to be in your peripheral like mm-hmm. at all times yes Whereas, like, though it is, like, concerning when I can see, like, when your boobs are out, I'm like, oh, good can God. Can we talk about that? Your fucking period titties? I am. I, am I also turning... love that you call them boobs and I call them titties. Titties. Like, I'm like, you're a so small what, child. What is this episode going to be? Boobs and titties. <laughs> boobs and titties. <laughs> because we're 13 minutes in and we've only been talking about boobs and titties. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not. You know what? I'm fucking not sorry. I'm fucking not sorry. We're talking about boobs and titties because they're important to talk mm-hmm. about. Anyways, um, well, because you're growing up now. I'm. I'm a. I'm growing up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning 25, and it's the fourth. It's September 4th mm-hmm. as we're currently recording this. In 14 days, I am going to be 25. Oh, that makes me feel old. My body's been changing. I get boobs now. She like, does. when I'm ovulating or, like, maybe it's, like, more it accurate period time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ovulating. I get boobs, and they are so weird. Dude, it's cra- They're massive. They are weird to have because yeah. it's, like, who the... F- who... I, like, look down, and I'm, like, who are these two? Mm-hmm. Who are you guys? Because I've always been, like, member of the Itty Bitty Titty Club, and now they're fucking, like, big. And I'm like, where did you guys come from? And when I take pictures, it feels <laughs> even weirder because I'm like, it looks like I got work done. Yeah, it looks so like funny. a filter, like a TikTok it filter. Because they look n- not real. 
Yeah, they're, so they're great. Alien. They're, they're so amazing. Crazy. They're wonderful. The bo- I'll walk in her room and she'll be putting makeup on. I'm like, oh, that's the period of the month we're in. Okay, yes, yes. definitely. We're there. They are out. I that just, is okay. I want to get like lean enough to where it's like mostly pecs again. It's I've mostly pecs and then boob, which is also confusing to people. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm here for it. I'm here to confuse people. I'm trying, I'm to, trying make... to have your pecs. You have great pecs. Well, it's because like I don't have boobs. That's the problem. I only no, because I ovulating. I have boobs, but also I still don't have like that level of like pec that you have. You well, have then, like really nice upper pec. Why don't you just like use your pecs for things you're not supposed to use them for, and then you'll have pecs. Nah, dude, I'm too busy using my traps and my lats for that. <laughs> Straight up. Sometimes I'm, <laughs> I'm over here like, I look like a swimmer, but I'm not really a swimmer. Dude, when I go, when I go work out with my cousin, um, Gabe, shout out Gabe, you don't listen to our podcast, but shout out, I love you. Um, when I work out with him and we do shoulders together, he like adjusts my form so I actually use my shoulders, and it's made me realize I use everything but my shoulders. <laughs> I'll use my biceps, I'll use my fucking, I'll use my pec, I'll use anything but my shoulders. So when he actually forces me to isolate my shoulders, I'm like, ew, you're making me puke, this sucks. That's this amazing. is awful, yeah. So that's the only reason why, is because I, I apparently just don't want to use my shoulders ever on anything. Yeah, I don't use my shoulders either. It's all mm-hmm. arms or back. Yeah, I'll use, I'll use anything but my core. Yeah. My core is the one thing that I'm like, oh, we're working on it. Yeah, your core, dude. I know. I like how this divulged into fitness. Fitness, because we're bros. We're talking about boobs, <laughs> titties, and weights here. This is the <laughs> podcast that you guys signed up to listen to when you decided to follow it. We're Ooh, talking pizza. about this. I do. Uh, I'm smelling lemons right now. Do you smell that? Yeah, I also smell lemons. Who is Caboose doing a lemon thing? What is he doing? No. Who Dude, the has windows lemons? open. People I know. Can, but... Yeah, in our neighborhood. But what are you doing carrying around fucking lemons? What are you doing with those lemons? She's Why am I smelling lemons? Real aggressive about lemons. Well, it smells really good. Um, and it's making me think about salmon. Like su- sushi. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. So good. What's your favorite sushi roll? So I'm not... I'm actually not a roll girl. I am a nigiri girl. So just the rice and the raw fish. That's all I want. Oh. That or a quail egg girl. You know how I feel about those. Quail egg shooters and the quail egg uh, nigiri. I'll eat... I'll eat all of them. I'll eat a dozen. In one go. I mean, you usually order, like, five. Yeah. Yeah. To start off with, and then I do yeah. five to end with. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I love raw quail eggs. I think they're delicious. But um, I've not eaten a raw egg. No interest in that. I haven't eaten a raw chicken egg. Maybe that's something we should do. Are you guys interested in seeing that? Her. I'm I'm not signing oh, up for okay. this. <laughs> she will eat a raw egg. I will not. Unless you want to podcast. watch me, like, vomit. No, absolutely not. I'm real weird about, like, food hey, textures. speaking of food, you know what I've been wanting to do for the f- podcast? I've been Ooh. wanting to. I know that we already gave it. My hair looks crazy. Leave it alone. It's fine. Um, I have been wanting to do that hot sauce thing, uh, Hot Ones. Oh, nice. Yeah. We had, we had the full set, but obviously that was years ago. That was years ago. Yep. Would love to do that on the podcast with a guest. Perfect. Don't know who. We need to get someone who's worse at hot sauce than me. So that way I look like I'm dope. Actually, you're really funny on the podcast. I... Like, uh, doing hot sauces. I'll do hot sauces, but you know I'll have a reaction to them. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, I'm I'm fine. I put on a big game, but I will have a reaction to them, and that's normal, and I'm okay with that. Um, I won't. You I'm, won't? No. I didn't last time either, because you just have to take all of that pain, bottle it up, and shove it deep down inside of you. Okay, so maybe you should talk to the therapist about that. <laughs> I'll talk to my therapist about my bra use. You talk to your therapist about your fucking hot sauce use, dude. <laughs> you, you can't let people see. Oh. Like, I love watching hot ones. And granted, I do love watching the, like, people react to it. Yeah. But I particularly like watching the people try not to react. And they're just like, hmm. I'm going to act like this Speaking is great. Speaking of hot ones, um, fucking Aubrey Plaza on hot ones. God. She's so beautiful. She's, yeah, a phenomenal what, human being. What What is it with her? She is, like, the um, perfect unhinged human being. Yeah. She walks around like that. Like, I want to... I want to walk around being unhinged. You are. Just to be very clear, you are walking around completely unhinged. People can tell. 
<laughs> they are aware I'm so sorry, I'm just that you are unhinged. <laughs> and so if you think that being. no one can tell, that's really cute. I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, good. So I do present myself the way that I present. It's fine. That's a good thing. I want to be yeah. unmasked. I want to be like, I just want to be no, unapologetically nobody myself. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is after hours. This is just a conversation between us two. Truly, thank you for listening. But I wanted to ask you, how oh was your God. day? How um, was your day today? I took a nap. Oh, that sounds yeah, good. Yeah, for long? like thirty minutes. I'm so jealous that you can take like thirty minute naps. Well, it was so a long nap. That. Yeah. <laughs> The trick is you do, like, 11 to 15 minutes. I'm not kidding. You have, like, a little wank and then 15 minutes, and then you're good to go. You're, like, a whole another human being. No, my naps are always, like, three hours long. Well, because you're probably wanking too hard beforehand. You got to do a little wank. Small? Like, a semi-wank, and then you nap for 15 minutes. This is... I'm not gonna ask this. Actually. <laughs> um, no, I need to know now. You can't. You can't tease. What's the difference between a semi wank and a full wank? Like, do you not finish or do you finish? Yeah, but you finish like a little bit. Okay. You okay, don't have like sense. a full on like or <laughs> if you're a male watching this, you're gonna be like, what do you mean finish a little bit? <laughs> you have like a like one of those little mini orgasms. That's girl code. And then I said, oh, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, and you say, hey, <laughs> mini orgasm, and then sleep. Because then you can nap properly. Because it that releases so... the correct, like, endorphins for you to, like... <sighs> you know what? Maybe I shouldn't assume that it's, like, girl-coded. Like, do men experience that? Or is it mini always wanks? a full wank? Do you think they experience a mini wank? Or do you think I don't it's know. always a full wank? You guys wank? let us know. If you, <laughs> like... <laughs> no, actually, don't let me know. Actually, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'll ask a guy that I trust. I don't want Wait. to know. Don't send me. Do not walk up to your dad. Don't. You don't walk up to your dad and like, do you experience a mini wank? Absolutely wank? not. I will I will talk to my guy friends that I trust that they know it's not going to be weird. And I'm just going to be like, listen, I just need a real answer. I just need a real answer. Tell me. Tell me. And I, you don't have to tell me, but tell me. Because I don't. I love you guys. I love the Wrecking Boss. I love you. Thank you for listening. If you've made it this this far. <laughs> don't Don't leave comments. I don't want to know. I, I just don't. I haven't built that trust with y'all. I Please don't. Don't tell me. Do not tell me. <laughs> Period. Oh, blank. I just That's think it. that nobody, I don't think of anyone in, like, a sexual manner. Really? No. Mm. Like, I, I live in a world where everything is, like, a Ken doll. I love that. I think it's, for me, it's the, um like, past religious trauma. I get really shy when I talk about sex with people. I get super, super shy about it. And I think it's because of the, uh, like, lingering religious shit that has happened. Because I was talking to someone the other day, and I was like, I don't know why, but it's, like, the the worst case scenario is someone finding out that I'm attracted to them. That is the worst case scenario. And they were like, were you raised Catholic? And I was like, how the fuck did you know that? <laughs> and they're like, uh, that sounds like a whole lot of religious shit. Because if you think about it, you finding out that somebody thinks you're attractive is not the end of the world. You don't. Oh, I hate it. Oh, see, you're you're playing into my religious trauma. So thanks for that. Sorry, I don't like. I don't want to know that someone like wants to fuck me. I, I but I, well, okay. caveat to that. I think it's because that I'm pretty sure that very few people can fuck well enough. That I would want to be part of that fantasy. Oh no! Hold on! Hold on! Hold, <laughs> hold, okay, hold, are there. I'm gonna. Okay. So besides, <laughs> besides the the performance of the hypothetical fucking, do you think that like you can be attracted to someone but not want to have sex with them? Do you think that's the thing? Um. Yeah. I mean, I think that's I think I, that's so a too. thing for other people. Not for you. Well, I think for me, if you're attracted to someone, it's because you want to have sex with them. That's like kind of what I assume is like, if I'm attracted to you, I want, I don't actually want to have sex because I am really monogamous. Mm -hmm. So I'm not like, hey, but if I'm attracted to someone, then you're thinking about them in that way. I think that. Yeah. What does that mean to you? I got real serious, you guys. I know, right? This is what we do on this podcast. I, I've been attracted to people in the sense where, like, I have, like, been like, oh, yeah, I really want to kiss them or I want to hold their hand and, like, I just want to, like, snug with them, but I don't want to have sex with them. What is that? Oh, I've... see, to me, that's just friendship. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> that's, I think, the difference. <laughs> that's Kim 
companionship. That's closeness is snugging someone, cuddling them, holding their hands. But I don't want to fuck you. No. Uh-uh. Well, I think that's probably, to me, to me, well, that's I'm not saying difference. you, but you know what I mean? Well, like, yeah, no, I know you don't want to fuck me. That'd be well, weird. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> we um, said no homo. <laughs> We're like, yeah. No fucking homo, dude. <laughs> Full homo, not in that not direction. Not this direction. <laughs> Love you. Would Opposite kill, direction. Would kill a man for you, but would not, <laughs> would not hug you <laughs> and would not kiss you. <laughs> Which is so yeah, funny to think of. so that. gross. No, okay. Uh, Fine. So, anywho, <laughs> as I build this wall between <laughs> us. No, I think that to me is the difference between um, you saying that makes me think the difference between romance and not romantic. Okay. So, romantic attraction to me is like, hey, I want to like, like fuck. Yeah, I want to fuck you. Whoa. But then, like, I because I personally like I grew up in a group of friends where like physical touch wasn't a problem. Mm-hmm. Physical touch became a problem. When I got with Caboose. Right. Because that was a thing that, like... Him and I are built the same. Yeah, that it was exclusively for him. Right. So part of, like, me unmasking now and getting more comfortable is being like, no, if I want to put my head on my friend's shoulder, I'm going to put my head on my friend's shoulder. Obviously, with their consent. I'm not just going to go around and, like, do it to, you know, like, you when I know you hate being touched. Mm -hmm. But I have friends that are down for physical contact. And I... Because I don't, like... Maybe this is the case for you that, like, physical contact means, like, that kind of lead up to it. So, mm-hmm. for me, like, there's a very different thing. Like, if I held your hand, which I would never do because it's very sweaty. It is. Um, <laughs> her self-lubricating hand. You want to feel Great right for now? hand jobs. Not great. No, I don't want to touch it. It's wet. No, I can see it. It's wet. <laughs> um... It looks like a fucking deli slice just sitting there. I can't help it. Like, just a, a piece of moist roast beef just, like, right there. It's, like, glistening. Um, <laughs> But for me, there is, like, a very um, real shift between physical contact that is mm-hmm. just, like, not just in, like, a diminishing way, but that is... Platonic, right? Yeah, platonic and comforting and all of that. Yes. And then that same thing, but with a sexual, like, connotation to it. And so for me, it's very different. We're, like... Well, can I say, okay, so I'm going to stand up for all the all the girls, gays, theys, and actual men who were raised in environments where, like, physical touch was not a thing. Yeah. Closeness was not a thing. I don't hate physical touch. We've been working on yep. it. Do you want to show the podcast really fast? Oh, yeah, this is what on? we've been doing. And she waits for me to come to her, which yep. is very nice. Okay, that's I go it. halfway, that's and then I wait, and then it just hangs out there, and then I take it back. Yeah, that's it. For anyone who didn't so, get to, who just got a moment of silence during that, during the that was indeed me putting my finger out. Like this is like a God, Michael, or Adam, <laughs> Michelangelo. God it's and not Michael. God, Michael. <laughs> I was gonna say Michelangelo. God and Michael. <laughs> it's a God and Michael moment, <laughs> where I'm indeed God. And, and I'm Michael. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she put her finger... So she puts her finger out halfway yeah. in the distance between us. And then I... She waits for me to engage, which is really important to me. Because I've been trying really hard to... Oh, yeah. To engage. Well, that would be so creepy if I just came at I know. You. Well, that's the problem, right? Is I'll... Most times in my life, I will only engage in physical touch if someone, like, in, like comes at me. Right? Oh. I know. It's an issue. We'll unpack that later. <laughs> I don't want to unpack that now. I'm having That's a good okay. time. That's um, okay. But, so I've been working on it. I don't hate physical touch. And so for people who weren't, like, raised in those situations, especially, like, you know what's so foreign to me is um, friends telling each other that they love each other. And it's really sad to think that the, <laughs> that physical touch has only ever happened to me in my life in a sexual manner. So physical touch, I get really freaked out when people, like, try to, like, touch me because I'm like, I don't want to sleep with you. But, like, separating that is so refreshing. Mm-hmm. Being able to separate... The fact that, like, you can have physical touch because humans need physical Eight touch. Eight hugs a day, dude. Eight hugs a day. We're working up to that, That's all right? That's fine. We are it's working okay. up to it. I <laughs> am going to just go steal hugs from people. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, I ask, like, I ask my clients, like, if we have, like, a great session and I have an urge to hug them... Then I'll be like, are you a hugger? And I always make sure that I, like, am quite far away when I ask. Mm -hmm. And then you can, like, see their faces. Because Mm -hmm. some people will kind of pause. And I'm like, you don't have to be a hugger. Oh, yeah. But, like, most people, by the time I very much, like, hug consent for me very much feels 
in that same way that like if sorry for everyone watching who's constantly watching me fuck with my hair um i thought i wanted it down and now it's just constantly touching that's me. fine i've been fucking with my hair because it's um doing whatever it wants to do so <laughs> but yeah it's one of those that you can tell if somebody wants to do a hug mm -hmm. i think in all the times that i've ever asked are you a hugger mm -hmm. one person said not really but right now i could use a hug Aww. And I've never been, like, turned down for a hug because I very much see it the same way that, like, there are those differences in that, like, sexual touch mm -hmm. and that, like, touch what to me is, like, that comfort touch, which is that actual vital, like, important touch. Mm -hmm. And, like, that, di like, difference there is massive for you to be able to feel. But, like, if you've never trained that then yeah, dude, you don't know that. All you know is that running is at one fucking speed. Right. You don't know how to walk. You only know how to sprint. Like You're, you're either sprinting or, or you're, you're dead. Walking. Yeah, you're <laughs> fucking laying down on the ground. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is I think of like that sort of touch as walking. That is the mm -hmm. normal, natural state. Which is lovely, yes. And then there is the added state of like, hey, I want to run right now, which is like, hey, I want to fuck. So like this has that intention. And you can feel that intention. But if you've never learned how to fucking walk, and you went straight from laying in a crib to running, like, yeah, dude, that's a lot of shit to unpack. Yeah, there's a lot happening there, and that's and okay. And, like, I'm not coming for people being like, hey, you don't like hugs, you don't like touch. If you don't like it, Because, yeah, that's A-OK. -okay. I'm just speaking as someone who um, wants, who knows that I do and enjoy it, um, but it is something that I'm working up to. Well, I because mean, it is yeah, locked. you're making huge, we got the fingers, and you sit on the sofa next to me sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, people. Are, I felt so seen because I saw this reel the other day, and it was this guy telling um, Dwight from The Office, the, the actor, and he was all. Dwight was like, "Can I?" His name's not Dwight. Can I give you a hug? And he's like, "No, I'm not a hugger. Like I've been told that I'm hard to pet." Mm -hmm. and he's like, "Wow, I really want to hug you after this." He's like, "You know, I don't want to do that, but I, I guess I will." And I, I'm just hard to pet, and that's how I feel. Like I. I'm very hard to pet, but I don't want to be. Yeah. Because there, I can't tell you how many times a day I, I, I've, i like, thought about, like, I just, like, want to hold someone's hand, you know, and be told that it's going to be okay. Or, like, I just want, I want to ask someone for a hug, you for a hug. Yeah. Or just to hold your hand. And I'm not going to do it, though, because I'm like, Ugh, no. <laughs> what if, would you feel better if you texted it? Maybe. Or if we had a code word for it? I'm okay with the finger touch for now. I'll okay. let you know. And then we can have a code word. You can be like, can I have a panda? Ugh. Yes. Well, you can find something else. You can say, can I have a spider jump? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that to me look like when you jump hug. <laughs> and you're like, Argh! and you jump hug on me. Love that. Love that. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. We'll, we'll come up with I something. love, I, um, that being said, I think it's still that like, hey, I love touch. I love hugs. Um. But it very much comes in, like, when I want it and when I'm ready. Because mm -hmm. that's part of, like, my unmasking is, like, I don't want to hug you if I don't know you. If, like, we haven't had some trauma stories back and forth, I don't want to hug you. I probably don't want to hug you. Yeah. Or like, if, like, yeah, or if no. I can feel that physical attraction, I don't want to hug you either. Yeah, because I know it's The moment I can for... feel that, I'm like, no. Because once again, if you think about me, in a th which I, I understand that this is so messed up because I have an OnlyFans, but I can't get over the fact of, like, if you think about me in a sexual way, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. I don't have bits. You don't have bits. We're a whole bunch of Ken Mounds just walking around. Mm -hmm. And granted, my mound is really big. Mm -hmm. And what like the that's fuck? the kind of energy I walk around with is big mound energy. Big mound energy. I don't need to know that you're thinking about my big mound energy. Mm -hmm. Like I don't want that. I'm oddly enough. I think the only reason why I'm okay with it is because like yeah, I'm used to sprinting. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. Like, oh, that's the only thing that like I've used to. So like getting to know that like actual platonic place of it is very refreshing it's nice but it's also uncharted territory so yep. i'm just learning how to because walk. i mean you do say i love you before you leave now i do yep so yeah. you're making progress and i really appreciate it that's one of my favorite good. things mm -hmm. and i love doing it <laughs> I awfully i love doing it to people that it makes uncomfortable you're, you and cole <laughs> both because i mean cole's the only reason why like they know <laughs> It makes both me and Caboose uncomfortable. So the hug us. <laughs> but you need it. 
They're and helping keep you alive. I do appreciate. I feel like a plant that's like being watered. Exactly. Okay. For some reason, exactly. I'm like water resistant plant. I'm like no bitch, and pe- other people are like, no, a rubber you do plant. Need this. I'm a rubber plant, and they're like no, but you do need it to actually live. And I'm like valid. That's true, and I want it, but I don't at the same time. Mm-hmm. So it's a yep. beautiful dichotomy. What's your win for this week? Oh, we didn't no. start with our genders. Oh, okay. So currently, yeah. Um, my gender. Mm, I feel like. Um, okay. This is gonna sound really weird to you guys, but you don't need to understand it. Only I need to understand it. But I feel like a caterpillar, mm-hmm. but with butterfly wings. Not a butterfly. Not, Not a butterfly. <laughs> A fucking caterpillar. A full on caterpillar. Like a caterpillar. Yeah. But with butterfly wings. Okay, great. That's what I feel like. Where I'm just like, I just have a mound. You just Big Ken mound. mound. And I'm floating around. And I'm happy. I don't know why I'm floating. Wouldn't I be flying? <laughs> I feel like I'm floating. So I'm floating. Well, since this episode is about uh, boobs and titties, I feel like a person with boobs and titties, but I don't feel like a woman, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just, I'm just kind of, just kind of, not even a guy, just a person with boobs, and I'm okay with it. Oh That's yeah, it. I love that. Yeah, I'm just like, cool. These are here. That's amazing. What was your win for the week? Ooh, uh, my win for the week is talking about physical touch and openly doing the finger hug with you mm. on the podcast. That was my win for the week, and I think I'm going to try the finger hug on other people <gasps> next week. Wow, I can't I'm wait decided. to hear about how that goes. Um, I'm undecided on how I feel about it. But that's I'll do okay. It. What was your win for this week? Ooh, my win was I took time off. Um, it'll probably be a couple weeks ago by the time they hear this. Mm-hmm. But I took time off when I got my IUD done. And, like, I took naps. So I'm that's so my, like, win because, um, yeah, it was... The first time I had it done, I work well. No, the first time I had it done, I stayed with Caboose, mm-hmm. um, and he took care of me the next day. And then the second time I had it done, um, my dad drove me, and then I went right back to work. Cause there they wouldn't let you. You had to like go home, and you can drive yourself. Here they let me drive myself, so that was dope. That is nice. Um, and then yeah, but I still like rested and felt better and like my body feels good so I like listened to my body yes I'm so proud yeah, of my you. little caterpillar body yeah and I knew With what butterfly to do wings. yeah yeah but like little butterfly wings oh they're small yeah okay they're not big okay we're not showy like like bug's life kind of yes yes <laughs> no, no, no. exactly I am the guy from bug's life right now <laughs> great it's well, amazing one more finger hug before we one go more finger hug I love you. Thank you for doing the podcast with me. Thanks for being my friend. Appreciate you. Okay, I I'm love done. you. Thank you. <laughs> and as always, we love you guys. I don't know what my hands are doing. We love you guys. What is the thing that Matt does? Oh, that that yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and we'll see you back next week for some other conversation. Who knows about what it will be about stuff and stuff and stuff. And this is Tattoo Homewreckers out. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs>